This is a story of redemption. Matthew Strickland was led down a dark path from an abusive household. Now he's making the most of his second chance. David Sheely has his story. I'm uh, Walter Matthew Strickland. I'm uh, 38 years old, born February 11th, 1983, proudly in Harriman, Tennessee, born and raised right here in East Tennessee. As a younger man, uh, I didn't have very good influences. Uh, I, I was more on, on, uh, on like my father's side of the family, and they were more into like the not so good lifestyle. My, my own biological father abused opiates and, uh, and just turned me on to them as a young man like it was normal and I never really knew any different. It led me to, to stronger things, uh, street drugs, heroin. I committed crimes in the name of it. I would still do whatever I had to do. I would hurt whoever I, no one mattered. I was on the run for a year, uh, so I was looking over my shoulder for a long time before it ever came to fruition where they actually got me. Uh, and I was almost begging to be caught. Strickland served time at the Anderson, Knox, and Roan County Detention Centers. It was at this facility in Kingston where his life changed. The Roan County Jail System has programs, faith-based programs, work-related programs to actually help rehabilitate uh, inmates instead of just incarcerate them. They, they moved me to the workers pod and from there I just worked my way into the programs because I, it, like I said, at first it was, it was just a way to get out of the pod and not be locked down for 23 hours a day. I was in a uh, uh, inside out dad's class. I cannot remember the name of the, of the gentleman that was teaching the class that day, but he had said something that just struck me like just through my core and I could not hold it back anymore. Like basically, like what are you waiting on? God has been waiting on you this whole time. And like what are you waiting on? And I don't know what it was. I, I got down on my knees in front of probably 20 men. I felt like this extreme weight lifted off of me and a cleansing feeling like a Almost, almost like getting hit with cold water that doesn't shock you, you know what I mean? Like it just hit me all over and I just, it was just right. May 21st, 2017, I accepted the Lord and basically my life hasn't done anything but get better since then. Strickland became an employee of Roan County Parks and Recreation. A few weeks ago, he heard of a tryout for the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship Boxing Promotion. A fan of fighting, Strickland gave it a shot. So I sent paperwork in, they, re they uh, responded in kind and said, you're, w you're welcome, you're invited, you come down, try out, we'll see what you got. You got a hundred something other guys that are trying to get this spot that I'm trying to get. I can't allow that to happen, I gotta get it. He did get it. Strickland impressed the scouts. He signed a three fight deal with bare knuckle management just two days after the tryout. A professional fighter, who's already knocked out his toughest opponent. I said, God is good. I've been blessed immensely since then. Is there anything else you would like to add that, that you feel like needs to be part of this story? Yeah, uh, I do. I, I have a, a strained relationship with my, my two daughters. My ultimate goal in my life is not to be a successful fighter, is not to be uh, a champion is not to be any of those things. It's to be a, a father and to be a, a good role model. Strickland's first fight is scheduled. He cannot release when that is or his opponent just yet, but we will keep you posted.